Members of the Locked Up Investment Holders Forum have today clashed with security at the Finance Ministry as personnel prevent the protesters' entry into the ministry. The group marched the Finance Ministry after meeting Governor of the Bank of Ghana to deliberate over how to retrieve their monies locked up with some financial houses and microfinance companies. My colleague James Aveji has all the drama in the following report. This morning, uh, members of the Locked Up Investment Forum have actually hit the street uh, to protest, to put pressure on the Bank of Ghana to help retrieve their locked up funds with some financial houses and savings and loan companies across the country. These are persons who have invested with uh, corporate finance uh, entities, some even invested with church corporate entities, all of them are saying that their monies over the period have been locked up with us entities without being able to retrieve them. They started a walk actually from the premises of the NDK financial company around the Accra Sports Stadium and heading towards the Bank of Ghana to present their, uh, 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 their petition to governor of the BOG. And so that's what is happening. If you look on some of the placards, they have the Bank of Ghana, don't kill investors with your poor supervision. Others are saying that the Bank of Ghana should wake up and do its job. Others say we want our money back. We worked for it. We can try and have a conversation with some of them to know what exactly what they applied are. I mean, we would want to have a conversation with you. Uh, tell us about your own situation with this host savings and loan companies and your lockup funds. To be honest with you, right now I have to take my medication every other day. I can't afford to take it every day. I have to space it out. You can't live comfortably like you have planned to do. And it is, it is not right at all. It is so unfair. This is that we're going to the BOG uh, to terminate the protest. Why are we here at the Kwame Nkrumah well, Memorial? According to the police, they have declared uh, those areas as security zone. You recall that when the minority uh, in parliament held their protest, they stopped them at some point. And I'm told, the police told me it was at this point that they stopped them. So we don't want to force the police to go against their own rule. So we're even going to be at the roadside there, but they realized that the sun is too much. So they pleaded with these people to allow us here so that we can rest under this uh, 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 shade. So but, but was that the original plan? Yes. The original plan was for you to come here? To, to be at the roadside there, could converge there, and then wait for our leaders to go and come. But now they have allowed us to come inside here so that the sun we actually be protected by the sun. There are some key highlights in that petition and the proposal as we have proposed two methods or approaches. Either you give them money, these institutions that are not able to operate, NDK financial services, SDC financial services, SIC life uh, savings and loans and bond savings and loans give them support, find some money. We have said that they should be talking to the uh, development partners to allow them to even use part of the stability fund to do this kind of exercise. Give them some money, which can cover about 20% of investors' funds there, so that investors get about 20% of their funds. The rest, we are prepared to convert it into, let's say, a four or three year bond. And we are also prepared to even convert the balance into equity. Leadership of the group was dispatched to go into that meeting with the governor. They returned hours later to tell the rest of the team that the BOG has agreed to their proposal. The conclusion that we had from that meeting is that the Bank of Ghana was prepared to revoke the licenses of these institutions. But they must first be assured by government that government has made provision for the payment of these investors funds before they revoke, in short. So they are dealing with government for government to provide those uh, monies for that. The government has not been able to do that as of now. So we too, when we go to the minister, that's the message we are going to send to the minister. The protesters then marched on the streets to the finance ministry to meet the minister. But at reaching we the ministry, the we gates were shut at the protesters, resulting in anger. 
and Otherwise, fury. Otherwise, you'll be coming here every day. Is it your minister who said we shouldn't come, or you are saying, what's, what's, what's the authority for you to lock the place? That some people, we are not saying all of us are coming. Ten people are coming to meet the minister because we have written to the minister. And you are saying what? It, the minister is up, Master. You don't need to be working here. It means you don't even understand organization. You don't un understand organization. You shouldn't be here. You should be fired. If I want to meet the minister and he's not there, there should be a human being who will represent the minister. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you are employed here. You shouldn't be here because you don't understand, you don't understand organization. To say, to say minister is not there, and so what? The, the minister is not there. There is nobody in this... I'm, saying, I'm, I'm announcing this to the whole, the whole world. After the back and forth, some members were allowed in. They came back minutes later to inform the media that they couldn't meet the finance minister. Not Ghanaians. Are we, are we not Ghanaians? Are they in Ghana for? I am paying for the Ababedu or Bianchi Bianchi Yenim. Yabaha in two weeks' time. Oh, my Shay Yenima, Yadaha Kopim, say Yabaji Yasika. Ghana, yes, safe for investment. And yes, safe for investment. Yaji Yasika. Convener of the group, Dr. Iduana Nienju, said they will return to the ministry every two weeks until they meet the minister. James Savage's report for Joy News. I've been joined by Dr. Anani Entry, who is convener for the uh, locked up uh, bondholders. Uh, grateful for your time. Uh, Dr. Anani, uh, have you finally been able to meet the finance minister? Uh, thank you. But first, the, the, the name is Locked Up Investment Holders. Well, Great. Thanks for the correction. These are not bondholders, investment holders. Great. Uh, okay. Yes, we, yesterday we tried. Uh, but we couldn't get a minister. Uh, we, I had sent a letter to the minister on Friday uh, last week. So I was very surprised that uh, the minister could not arrange for any person at all to be present to receive us. Uh, that, that, that was unfortunate. But... Um... Let, let's speak more to it. Are you positive that government has the money to give uh, uh, that go ahead for the Bank of Ghana to revoke the licenses of these financial institutions and pay you? Yeah, that is the problem we have now. And that is why there is a need for the minister to be around for us to have this discussion. Bank of Ghana says they are uh, trying to get the government to provide finance to support this revocation. They, they clearly know that the only thing to be done is to revoke the licenses of these institutions. But if they revoke the licenses, the payment must happen. You recall that a similar thing was done in 2017-2018. Mind you, this cleanup exercise has not ended. We haven't got into the end. We are still in. It is as a result of the cleanup that are, we are having all these issues. So we still we haven't brought the cleanup exercise to a complete uh, end. So as it was done 2017, 2018, when government uh, gave funds, made funds available, and Bank of Ghana revoked the license of these specialized deposit taking institutions and paid every customer. That is exactly what we are expecting to be done this time around. And so Bank of Ghana is ready to revoke these licenses. But they want to be sure that government has available resources to pay these uh, all, all customers when the licenses are revoked. To avoid a situation where you revoke and customers are there coming today, where is our money, where is our money, where is our money. It's better to get the money ready before the revocation uh, takes place. So that is the position of the Bank of Ghana. So we were going to discuss this with the minister and also ensure that uh, government does what it can do. We have suggested to government that it should be talking, engaging uh, its development partners. The people know we are in, the, in a serious financial mess. So let's discuss with them. We have to resolve all the issues in the financial market so that we can start on a better footing and, and call ourselves that yes, now our financial market is, it has become solid. But once people's money are still locked up in that financial market, 
IMF's uh, talk about financial stability will just be a misnomer. You can't have financial stability when people's money are locked up in the same financial market. So if they want us to have stability in the financial market, then talk to these development partners. They should help us get funds to settle all these uh, uh, lock-up investor, uh, investors so that we can, we can now talk about uh, financial stability. So we're going to have a discussion with the minister about this. And uh, unfortunately, the whole place was, we were told there was not a single officer who was capable of meeting us and even taking our uh, message to the minister when the minister is back. So that is where, where we are. So where do we go from here, Doc? Well, we are going to still uh, ensure that we have discussions with the minister. Bank of Ghana is doing it. But you see, Bank of Ghana is not, a, is the, as an institution, is not the one that is suffering. We as individuals are the ones that, that are suffering. So if Bank of Ghana is even discussing with, having discussion with the uh, ministry, they know the, the, the effect of the non-payment. But we, whose investments are locked up, feel it. We feel it directly. Direct, direct. Pensioners, sick people are dying. People are dying without access to their money. And even after they have gone, their relatives are not getting this money to even bury them, do a befitting funeral for them. So we feel it. So as Bank of Ghana is talking to the ministry to ensure that they can make provision for that, we are going to be at the forefront also and also be discussing, engaging with the ministry to, to let government know and, and find a way, talk to the development partners, let them give us some, some support for us to, to, to clean the market. Finish the cleanup exercise. Then we can start talking about market stability. Well, Dr. Edwanani Entry, we will be following up and uh, let's see how this is resolved. Dr. Edwanani Entry, I'm grateful this morning. He is the convener for the Locked Up Investment Holders Forum.